I'm in Chicago with the Tools in Action guy, and we are going to be talking about landscape trailers. This is what I consider to be one of the four most critical pieces of equipment, and these guys have hands-on experience. They just purchased one, so they're going to walk us through what to look for in a landscape equipment trailer. Thanks, guys, for having me on. Thanks for nice coming yeah. out, man. I appreciate it's, it. It's awesome. It's good to have the expert out. Yep. Seriously, because I mean, even though you said, you know, we're knowledgeable, we're, we are knowledgeable on this trailer, but we're not as knowledgeable about trailers as you would be, because you're using this stuff every day on the job, you know, stuff like that. Our trailer's going to get used, but it's probably not going to get used, like, daily, but, you know, we want to hear what you want to see, what, what you feel about this trailer yeah. that we're about to look at. Okay, but the way so. you guys spec this out mm -hmm. is absolutely Cadillac top of the line. Yeah, so that's what I want to cover, because... Not all trailers are created equal, and it's easy to mistake a cheaper trailer and get into it, and you're not getting the most bang for your buck. Right. Good point. Right. Yeah. And, exactly. And that's what we want to cover. Is I want these guys that are watching this right now to be able to go, hey, look, this is what we want. We want these axles. We want this kind of bed. We want this, and to know gotcha. what to look for. And you guys have already done all of that research. All right. Cool. So we just wanted a dump trailer for a lot of projects we got going on, hauling firewood, dumping <laughs> um, mulch, you know, and then we started getting into like gravel applications. Like my brother-in-law has like a farm and he's going to be doing a lot of work so he kind of wanted to use it also and I'm like, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that with yeah. the one dump. So we just started looking into PJ, we started looking into all their options and a lot of their options, um, you could, it's like buying a car. So you can pretty much buy the, the base vehicle and then you can start adding things to it. Yep. And with this trailer, uh, we completely customizing it, customized it. It took us about six weeks to get. It was uh, built in Texas. The, some of the things we added were the bigger radial tires we added. We added a dual battery dump system. So when we're out in the field, when we're dumping, it's got two batteries instead of one. Yeah, she went a little bit. So you went with 6,000 pound axles instead of uh, 7,000. You went 7,000. Okay, I want to make sure we get this clear. You went with 7,000 7, pound axles over 6,000 6, pound axles. You know, you can haul more, but it's also a much heavier duty application. It is. It's just a heavier duty system. Right, and the, the, also the bigger, we want straight axles instead of, I don't know what they're called, like the lower axles, but this is the DL trailer, which is their low dump, which is supposed to have a 24 inch deck height. We've raised that a little bit, uh, only because basically when you're dumping with the low deck height, when you drop your load, you have to pull forward and then, you yeah. know, with this, with it being higher, it should drain the whole load right there. So that was one of the features that they... Uh, so let's talk about a few of the key points that they mentioned. I don't want to gloss over them. You went with heavier duty tires. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's an important thing because if your tires can't handle the load, you don't want to be on the side of the road with a blow up. Exactly. You went with heavier duty axles yep. as well. Now you went with a two battery system on it because a lot of times the problems with these dump trailers is the batteries just can't hold out. You also have some pretty cool things with this dump system that's power up power down option but also a gravity down yeah, option correct. which means you're, you're going to save on the life of the battery it's going to get more because these things they charge when they're actually hooked up to the truck but trickle charge it's a trickle charge it's just enough to get you by right basically right you still have to charge it in. plug it in every night into and then we went with the dual, dual battery option just to give us like that extra life yep. but also with the gravity down is let's say you are on the job site and you just use the last of your battery to keep it up on some that don't have gravity down it's not coming down so you give it a charge okay. so at least you're not going to get stuck on site you know you're going to be able to gravity it, gravity it right down i mean that is something to make sure that you look into but i also want to talk about the cross members you're bracing on the bottom because a dump bed is meant to haul you sometimes you're going to haul concrete asphalt you're going to haul heavier applications and you don't want your bed to get this ripple effect because right. what will happen then, instead of it being perfectly flat, it's going to sit out here and just like right now we're getting a mix of snow and rain, those divots are going to hold that moisture and that's going to rot out the, your bed. So you have to keep it propped up a little bit if you dent up your bottom of your bed. But the heavier cross members helps keep your bed from getting beat to heck. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, some... and I think they added more cross members also. I think just like the original was like 16 on center. And these were like 12 or 13. Closer or together. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're going to put more in there. I think you have an upgrade option on paint as well. Yeah, yeah on sure. paint. They also offer, PJ now offers multiple colors and uh, different kinds of, they use, They worked with DuPont to come up with a really good uh, powder coating system. You can get orange, red, tractor green, uh, Kubota orange. I 
pretty much think this is what this is, but they do like a really nice job just totally uh, powder coating the system. And the day we picked this up was after a big storm and the roads were still wet with salt. So I mean, this thing got salt all over it. It's been sitting for three months with salt caked on it. And really, there's no rust on it. I mean, if you go around like the axles, you might see a little rust here and there, but the whole thing is protected, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, we have that other PJ back here and it, you know, four years old now and it's still holding up. So. A couple things to also notice with this trailer is you've upgraded to have an uh, integrated tarp. Right. Yeah. And we thought that was a no-brainer just because, I mean, the last thing I want to do is be hauling debris, you know, and stuff's flying out of the bed. So with this, just integrated, boom, pull it over, don't have to mess with the tarp or anything like that. But then it just lightens your load. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Now you've also got a spare tire, which these are extras. Now these don't yeah. come standard on a trailer, so don't get fooled into thinking that okay, the, these guys have it. No, this is stuff that Perfect. you're gonna you're gonna pay additional for. But you also have uh, your your dump gate. Is right. that is that standard or um, is that on a the DL model? I believe the dump gate is standard. It opens both barn door style and dump style, okay. so that's gonna allow you to uh, you know obviously better versatility out there. Um, but the only other options I think that we put on this were uh, the jack, the trailer jack. We got yes. a bigger bulldog track Have your jack, day. and the, the cylinder, center cylinder. We the like D rings too, though, right? D rings. Yeah, and that's a huge thing. I think. Yeah, and I mean that was one of my biggest part because I didn't want to get a, a one with no D rings because I want to put equipment in here. Yeah. Right? So I, I'm a big fan of D rings. I figured the more and I, like they were 25 bucks a D ring, oh. so I was just like you know put 10 in there. And, yeah. uh, that's why I think a dump trailer is one of the critical elements in a landscape business because you can not only haul materials but you can haul equipment. You can get it out to your job sites. You can drop off your excavator, your skid loader, and then you can load it up with your concrete, your dirt, your gravel. You can use your standard pickup truck to tow it. You can also get, um, now you have a, a this, this hitch just hooks up to any standard truck hitch, but you can get the option of having it actually hook into the truck bed. Yeah, the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel yeah, attachment. Yeah. yeah, you can do the fifth wheel um, on this. And I think also we did the, the cord. We did the cold weather cord. Yes, yeah. That's so, I don't know, it's kind of cold out right now. If you pick up that blue cord, it's got a lot of flexibility to it made out of silicone. Oh, nice. Even on like negative 10 degrees days, you're going to have that kind of flexibility. And that, to me, was a no-brainer because we're in Chicago and it gets cold. But I have taken a corner before with a stiff one and it's pulled out. Yeah. So when you're looking for trailers, make sure that you start to understand they're not, not all created equal. We're not going to, I'm not going to endorse PJ over one, although I do personally own PJ trailers. I think that they're a great trailer, but you want to individually spec out the trailer. I just want you to be cautious that you understand that you may look at one trailer, it's 3000 another trailer 7000 There's a reason why trailers vary so much in price because all of these upgrades, all of these options cost more but as one of the foremost critical pieces of equipment that you can bring into your landscape business or your lawn care business this is what I consider to be a good investment yeah exactly yeah, I agree. And like I said we built this thing like a tank so it's ready for anything if we're gonna just do a load of mulch no problem if we're gonna fill it up with gravel it's no problem less hassles and headaches too you know yeah, yeah so. also I don't know if I told you but this actually standard with PGA is on the back or jacks that come down so when you're loading a skid stair you know you're not popping it up like I said our second PJ we like PJ PJ. Um, I mean, everybody we talked to you had a PJ. It's mm -hmm. definitely good. So, yep. um, good stuff. All right, I want to give a big thanks to Dan and Eric for having me out, and especially for them for t walking us through their PJ trailer, what to look for in a trailer. Hopefully, it's helped you guys out. And I want to ask you guys to do me a favor go over and check out Tools in Action and go to their website, toolsinaction.com. For more tool reviews, you guys, you're out there, you're buying tools, you want to know what's what the good ones are, what's going to work for your business. These guys, this is all they do, and they do it well. So, oh, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks for coming out. I appreciate yeah. it very much. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. And you guys, we're huge fans of the channel, and we're huge fans of you guys, because you guys support this guy, and uh, it's great to just grow with you and have your audience just kind of check out our stuff and hopefully we want to be happy family. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. God bless. Go you guys want to reshoot the intro, or are we good with that one? You tell us. No, you're ready. Right. You tell us. I mean, the only part I didn't like is like where I came and said that we're not the professionals. I'm like, should, should I got into the use of it? Let's, really, let's just reshoot it. Really, about? dude. I mean, that's what it's about. Yeah. Okay. I can't keep right, it. We're lying. We are professionals. It's no, I don't want to say I'm professionals. Because why is the reason we bought it? No, but like he said, though, we spiked it out. We already did all the work on it, and it's like I said, not all because.
not all trailers are created equal, like you're saying, you know what I mean? Right. And I think that's a huge point because someone's going to say, why am I going to spend that much when I can get a dump trailer over here for But I feel like we have to tell the audience why we spec it out the way it is. Like, and that's what we're going to do out there, it, right? The or no? Yeah, no. Okay. You spec it out. You got the top of the line. That's what these guys need. They don't need bottom of the line. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the unfortunate truth is a lot of these guys, they're going to have a salesperson try to sell them something that is much inferior to it, they're going to pay the same price, and they're not going to get, walk away with the same quality. True, right. That's a huge point that these guys need to understand, and so that's why we're going to say, hey, look for yeah. these details in them, because you guys, your trailer is top of the line. There's no arguing about it, but a lot of guys don't understand what right. that even you means. Right, you get a cheaper trailer, yeah. Hey, I have a quick question real quick. What are the four necessary tools? You said the trailer's one, what are the other three? A uh, truck, skid loader, Mini excavator and a dump trailer. Okay. Those are the four critical pieces of equipment to get started to to start in a landscape company. What about mowers? Well, it depends. I mean, you may not. Yeah, if you may not be more hard Yeah, I mean, uh, the dump trailer, the way you guys have it spec'd out, allows the the people whoever is purchasing it to load up a piece of equipment, take it out to a job, not just use it for materials, but they can haul a skid loader. I got to hang with these guys for a day, and they are absolutely awesome. Just fun, down-to-earth guys. And by the way, this was Dan's idea for a thumbnail.